Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I've had an awesome day. Uh, really one of those days where you know, we have new customers coming on, we have a lot of people we're doing business with, had a lot of great meetings. Um, one thing that resonated with me today are two terms that kind of drive me nuts a little bit. And if you've ever been in business or managed people, there's a couple things. So one, from my perspective, I'm going to say the word marketer. Most people that have been in business for any amount of time cannot stand marketers because they cannot actually disclose real results and they just continue to cascade you down this line of, oh, it'll work down the line. It drives me nuts because... I've been in this business 15 years. My now company, my company before, it was always about transparency and helping people understand what their leads look like, what the cost per lead look like, and always trying to drill down on what your ROI is. Sometimes, most of the time, it was great. Sometimes, you know, it's not. It's like, how do we figure this out? Okay, so, marketer. Number two, the word entrepreneur. I know it's a buzzword today and there's a lot of people that you know want to be in business for themselves and there's nothing wrong with that. I was the same way. I mean, I was a young, stupid, you know, 19 year old that went into business for myself the first time. But there's a lot of ass kicking that happens in that time and not ass kicking external, it's more internal. You getting your ass kicked. And that's how you learn as an entrepreneur and you figure out how the world works and you figure out how to make your product or your service better over and over and over again. And that is what a true entrepreneur is, is not getting discouraged in that time. And if you do get discouraged, it's fine, but it's getting up the next day. I've seen so many cases and people in the last 15 years that have labeled themselves that. And again, it is what it is that have died on the vine and just gone back to work some more. There's nothing wrong with that. That's why I have a problem with the term entrepreneur. So the reason I'm putting this message out there is, number one, you should believe in yourself more than anybody else believes in you. And that is something that you have to internally ask yourself. And number two, you should say, what do I really want out of my life? If you're in the marketing space, you're in an entrepreneur space, and you're in this place where you really want to say to yourself, do I want to make payroll every two weeks? Do I want to wonder where the next big deal is coming? Uh, or if I'm a marketer, do I want to always rely on the results I'm getting these people at the same time? then if you're good with that, great. But if you're not in that space and you don't want to constantly be in the place where you are giving people the opportunity to kind of step on your dream and push you back, then realize there's a lot of other opportunities out there that you don't have to be your own boss. So... If you're in the percentage that is of me and my partners like Matt, Eric, John, that don't want to work for somebody else, then I would recommend that you start reading, you start getting your mindset around the fact that things will be tough and honestly there is no end to the tunnel. And there's no light at the end of the tunnel to begin with. You have to understand that it's going to be a daily pressure that you put on yourself. And the reward might be greater than anything that you'll ever experience outside of that. But that journey might be tough. So, I hope you are taking this message 
uh, however it fits you, you know, as my mentor Eric says, you know, take the meat, spit out the bones, but maybe there's something there for you. Love you, and hope to see you soon.